In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use light leak cinematic overlay footage like this. It could also be a lens flare footage to create a transition and just to add some cinematic style to your videos. First, you're going to need to download some light leak footage. You could find this online. I have a Storyblocks account and so I pay to be able to download stock footage and it has a ton of options here. If you use a site like pixabay.com, you can find some free lens flare and light leak footage there. And if you just search on Google for free light leaks, there are some sites that you have to typically provide your email address, but it will send you free a pack of free light leaks uh, and lens flare type footage. This is sort of that style that you got with an old vintage camera when shooting on film. And so how do we apply this footage? So say I have these two clips and I want to uh, add a light leak on top of it. If I take my light leak footage and place it onto track two, we just see my light leak footage. I want the video to appear through it. And to do that, we need to change the blend mode under effect controls for the light leak footage to something like screen. You can play around with it, but I find that screen is the best because that's just getting rid of the dark black footage and leaving all of the lighter footage from these clips. And so now we have this nice effect applied. So say we want to use this effect to create a transition. The way that I would do this is go to scrub through my clip to where the entire frame or most of the frame is covered by brightness. So something like right up route there is pretty good. And you can go frame by frame with the keyboard on your keyboard. Something like that looks good. And you'll see that I already did this to the clip before and in different portion, but here I'm gonna set a marker by clicking M and that creates a mark. So now when I click and drag this clip over and if as long as I have my snap and timeline magnet button selected, it will kind of snap that point to where this cut is because I want that to match exactly where that cut is. So now if I play through this, that looks pretty good. To really sell it though, I'm going to add a dip to white transition. So under dissolve, under video transitions, if you have dip to white and just make it super short, even like a tr cross dissolve might help, but I think dip to white works better. So I'm just gonna add those together and it is a nice transition like that. You can even shorten this up. Say you don't want the light leak for the entire shot, but just for right around this transition, select the clip press Command D, that's going to create a cross dissolve on both sides. Maybe shorten up that transition. And it just creates that nice sort of transition like that. And that's how you use light leaks. It's gonna be the same for the lens flares or the other effects. You place it on the track above and you change the opacity blend mode to screen, or you can play around with the other ones. You can see if I select this, if I change it to something like color dodge or multiply, that's going to do the opposite. It shows the black. That doesn't, that one doesn't look that great. Overlay, they all kind of give a different style. I prefer screen because it's not affecting the clips underneath. Some of these other blend modes make the actual video clips darker, more contrasty depending on the combination of the two clips. So screen is what I prefer. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another lesson.